Hello, I'm Kyle Bratch, I'm Chaparral Motorsports, and today I want to introduce to you the Scorpion EXO R320 helmet. This is going to be a great protective DOT rated helmet that comes in at just around that $100 mark. Solids such as this can go down to as low as $89, and then the graphics go up to about $115. But what you get with this helmet are some high quality features and benefits that you normally see in much higher end helmets. So today we're gonna to be giving you the detailed breakdown of this Scorpion EXO R320. Now as far as the helmet construction goes, it is a DOT rated only helmet. It is a polycarbonate shell that's gonna be a lightweight shell while providing some protection as well. It has a dual layer EPS or dual density EPS liner on the inside that allows this helmet to be protective. It's gonna at slow speeds have a different EPS to be able to absorb that type of impact. And then it has a different density EPS to absorb higher movement or higher velocity impacts. It's gonna allow you to have maximum protection at a very low price point. But Scorpion has done some great testing to allow this helmet to both have great ventilation and to be not quite so noisy on the highway as other helmets at the same price point. There are a couple very interesting things you notice on this helmet looking at it straight away. The first is going to be the city lock here on the visor. I know of no other $100 helmet that has a special mechanism here on the side that's gonna allow you to have a crack here in the face shield or the visor to be able to allow wind to come into this face shield or to the front of the helmet while you're riding down the road. That is a great feature from Scorpion that we really like at this price point. Another thing you're gonna notice is the pin lock ready face shield. This allows you to install a pin lock which will make this visor or face shield completely fog free basically creates a dual pane window effect. Now the helmet doesn't come with that out of the box, but for about $60 or so, you can purchase a pin lock insert that will give you that fog free type of situation. Now looking at the front of the helmet, we have a nice chin vent here that opens up and allows you to have ventilation up to the inside of your shield and into the breath box of the helmet. There are also two other whisker vents, they call them here on either side of the helmet. Moving up to the top of the helmet, we have two chimney vents here at the top. We're gonna to be able to open and close those by simply pushing this little button here at the top. Very easy to do, very definite. Click open and click close. So you know when these vents are open by just reaching up and having a quick feel with your glove. Moving this helmet around, we have some exhaust venting on this helmet. It's gonna be a Venturi type vent. So wind's gonna come over the helmet and pull warm moist air out through these two vents that are always open. Now that we looked at the ventilation of this helmet, let's take a look at the face shield a little bit closer. Initially, we talked about this little city crack here that we get from this helmet, a very, very fantastic feature. Now opening the shield all the way up, we have a nice ratchet type system here. Now a very neat part or feature of this helmet is the fact that when this shield comes down to a certain point, it actually pulls and locks into place. And what that does is that's gonna bring the shield and pull it against the gasket that goes all the way around the outside of the helmet here, giving you a great seal against wind and water. Take a look. This is gonna come down, and right here at the very bottom, you're gonna notice it's pulling and sucking in, giving pressure around this entire gasket around the outside of the face shield. That is a very, very beneficial feature of this helmet. Now with the helmet all the way open, there's a trigger right here. We're gonna go ahead and pull this trigger forward and that's going to allow us to release the shield from the helmet. And then to reattach it, we're just gonna set the shield back in place in the open position, give it a push, and we are back in business. And there we go, that's what we have as far as the detailed breakdown or walk around of the external features of this Scorpion EXO R320 helmet. Now let's get into the guts. Shifting this helmet up, we're gonna take a look and the first thing we're gonna see is the double D-ring closure system. There is a nice snap here on the one end holding down this extra material from flapping around as you ride down the road. That is a feature that I love to see on helmets and the fact that it's on this very entry level helmet is a very great feature. The other thing you're gonna notice are the padded chin straps. These are nice, comfortable microfiber chin straps. They're gonna come down and protect your face now the webbing here on the helmet is nice and soft to begin with, but it is pretty thin. And the comfort, the extra comfort you get from these pads here on the strap are very welcomed. Now looking at the inside of this helmet, we're gonna notice the Quick Wick 2 liner fabric. 
This fabric's gonna have a microfiber type feel to it. It's gonna be very soft, moisture wicking, antimicrobial. It's gonna be a great feeling helmet when you have it on your head. Moving past the chin strap to the bottom of the helmet, we're gonna notice that we have contoured cheek pads here on the side. We have a nice neck roll here in the back. And a very important feature is this chin curtain here at the front that's gonna keep wind from coming from the front of the helmet and being pushed down up under your chin. That chin curtain is gonna allow this helmet to be a lot quieter than some of the other helmets in the same price point. Now that we've taken a look at the entry to the helmet, let's go ahead and dig just a little bit deeper. Again, this is an antimicrobial removable liner here on the inside. I'm gonna show you how that works right now. I'm gonna reach my hand up in here. There are two snaps, one just above the ear, one in the front, and then a third snap in the very back. And that's gonna allow us to be able to pull this whole cheek pad out of the helmet. Again, there's a nice flashing right here that goes all the way in and around. This eliminates wind noise from coming into the helmet. It's a great feature. So moving over here to the other side, we're gonna start here in the front, at the top and in the back, and get all three of those snaps released. We're then gonna pull this up and starting at the front, work our way backwards. Now that's gonna leave us with the chin curtain that can be removed quite easily in case you don't want the chin curtain in or unless you're doing a clean, uh, an entire cleaning of the helmet. We now have the comfort liner. We got two snaps in the back. Now moving forward, we don't actually have snaps in front of the helmet. And this is a feature that we find usually on only high-end helmets. Instead of having two snaps, which are gonna create pressure points on the front of your forehead, the front of this comfort liner actually slips into uh, a groove here in the very front that goes all the way around. So it actually snaps into the brow of the helmet instead of sitting against your forehead. Now a feature here that I really like with the comfort liner of this helmet is they've actually put holes here in the comfort liner that allow you to have great ventilation from the outside of the helmet all the way in. Now looking at the inside of this helmet, we can see a couple great features. The first is going to be wherever there's an intake vent, you're gonna notice there's a hole and then a channel that goes throughout the rest of the helmet. That's gonna allow you to have great airflow inside this helmet. It's actually a patented technique that Scorpion calls the Aero-Tuned Ventilation System. Looking a little bit deeper, you're gonna notice that we have contoured speaker pockets here. These speaker pockets are gonna allow you to put any comm device into this helmet. Can be large enough to be able to accommodate any of the speakers from either Cardo or Cena. Now, in addition to these speaker pockets, let's take a quick look here at the way the shell integrates with the EPS liner. Again, this is dual density EPS, so it's gonna be nice and safe. But either of the Cardo or the Scalar Rider units are gonna have a clamp. They're gonna slide here in between the EPS liner and the external shell here. That clamp can easily be put down in between these two pieces of material. Or if you would like a more seamless option that has a flush mount system here on the bottom, you can use the double stick tape mount that both of those companies provide. But regardless of which style of mount you wanna use, the hard mount, the sticky mount, or the clamp on unit, this helmet is 100% accepting of any aftermarket intercom system. Now that we've explored the options on the inside of this helmet, let's take a quick look at the comfort liner. We have the cheek pads here, which are a nice dense foam with a nice microfiber moisture wicking material here on the outside. And that same material is used in the comfort liner or the crown liner of the helmet. Now that we've taken a look at what the inside of the helmet looks like, let's get this thing put back together and I'll show you what it looks like on an actual person's head. Now I typically wear a size small and this here is a size large, so it's gonna be a little bit large for my head. I typically wear a 55 and a half centimeter helmet, and this is gonna be a seven and an eighth to a seven and a quarter, I believe. I'm gonna go ahead and get this strap fastened. Again, a nice loose strap here, feels really good. And those neck strap or chin strap protectors feel really good against the skin. Now this has a quick fit eyeglass port built into it. So glasses fit really well. There was zero pressure against my head as I slipped my glasses into place. That's a huge benefit that Scorpion builds into their helmets. Now I'm going to give you a 360 degree view so you can see what this helmet looks like. Again, this is a shell size larger than I typically wear. I typically wear a small, which the extra small and the small share a shell size, and then the medium, large, extra large share a size as well. So again, this is gonna be a little bit larger looking on my head than some of the other helmets in this lineup. 
Now let me go ahead and close the visor down so you can see what that looks like. This vent here is very easy to access as well as the top vents here. You click them down forward to close them and backwards to open them. Now reaching back, I can hit this little city writing tab. That's gonna crack this visor open. You probably heard the change in audio. That's gonna get air that's gonna come in through this crack while maintaining that closed position of the face shield. Again, a feature that I really like of this helmet or the face shield itself is when it comes down, it really locks firmly into place, giving you a great seal on this helmet. And there you have it. That there is your detailed breakdown of the Scorpion EXO R320 helmet. This is gonna be a great feature-packed value price point helmet for those of you looking to get into a protective motorcycle helmet at right around that $100 mark. If you like what you saw today, please give it a thumbs up. If you want more action like this coming directly to your inbox, please hit that subscribe button and more importantly, the notification bell. Until next time, as always, take care and ride safe out there.